This is a short demo to show how we can use cursor and wiremop to define, mock, uh, and enhance a GraphQL API. Uh, we're going to build a, a simple uh, travel search API involving bookings, flights, and airlines. Uh, we're going to generate the schema, generate the mock, um, and then show how we can incrementally build up the, uh, the, the mock and improve the, the quality of the data coming back from it. So I'm going to start by asking the cursor to generate a GraphQL schema uh, with the, the relevant types in it uh, and to create a new mock API uh, in, in Wiremock Cloud and upload the schema to this mock API. Okay, good. So now we should have a new mock API in Wiremock Cloud. If I hit refresh, there we go. We have travel booking API, which wasn't there before. If I head on in there and go to the GraphQL page, I can see that it's defined some some types for me. So the way Wiremock Cloud works with GraphQL is that once you put a schema in, you can start issuing queries to it. You don't have to define any data up front. Um, it will return responses that are valid with respect to the schema, but uh, with, with randomly generated data in them. Uh, and I'll show you how this can be used to kind of progressively refine the data that we want by creating stubs. So I'm going to grab the base URL from this. I'm going to head over to Postman and I can now use uh, Postman to, to, to uh, build up a, um, uh, a query uh, based on the schema that it's pulled. So let's say that we want to query bookings and we want to include flights and hopefully this should do the trick so we make a query and uh, as you can see here we've got um, some some data returned which is a, in a kind of valid structure uh, but as we can see the sort of the quality of the values isn't all that great because uh, these have been um, randomly generated using faker under the hood according to kind of best guesses of the types uh, but uh, so this is this is valid but it might not be all that useful in a in a real testing situation so the next thing we want to do is to capture this as a stub, this particular query that we made, uh, and then we can start refining the data. So let's head over into, sorry, excuse me, we need to head into the request log. So we can see here the request log entry for this Postman request I just made. And if we scroll down to the bottom of here, there's this button uh, that says convert to stub. So this will capture a stub, which has got the query that we just made. Uh, and it will capture the random data that was that was created. And as we can see, there's quite a lot of it. In this case, we maybe don't want to have to kind of hand edit this in order to to improve it. Um, but this is where the uh, the the um, AI tool really comes into its own because we can ask the AI tool to do this for us. So now we've saved a stub, we can issue a second prompt to cursor. So let's. Do that, and it was travel booking API was the name of the API, uh, the mock API. Sorry. Um, so now we're just asking it to. Um, uh, I think we're just doing listing bookings at the moment. So we're asking it to 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 take that stub for listing bookings and make the response data more realistic, and to otherwise not modify the stub. So pretty simple. Okay, great. So it's updated the stub. It's giving us some details about the, the fields that it changed in order to make it look more realistic. So we have realistic looking flight numbers, airline names, all that kind of thing. And now if we head back over to, over here and hit refresh, we should look at this stub. And now the data looks much better, uh, much more realistic. And finally, we can go and make the same query we made before in Postman, but now we get back something uh, a lot more plausible. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. Uh, we could take this further. We can create a load of uh, get individual booking stubs based off of this. And uh, we could ask the AI to do most of the, the, the legwork for that for us as well. We can create variations of data for specific testing uh, scenarios where we, we need the data to be in a specific shape or have specific values uh, in order to test certain scenarios. Um, and we can keep using this technique as we refine and enhance our, our API design. Um, so we can use this as a, a rapid prototyping aid while we're, we're developing our GraphQL API.